Hello friends, welcome to Fairs Club Learn to Lead. Good morning to all the students. As you know, in the weekly current fair, we covered October 1st, 2nd and the 3rd week of 2022. But today we will discuss the October 4th week. It means we will cover 25th to 31st of October 2022 current fair. So this is the last week of October. So watch this video carefully until last. But first of all, you have to download our application Careers Cloud from the Google Play Store. After that, log in with your email ID. Then click on this Crack Current Fair section to subscribe our Current Fairs for one year as well as for two years. Both the subscription prices are very much low. But the most important thing, what we are covering under this one year and the two year subscription, we are providing you daily section. In the daily section, you will receive three things. One is the detailed Current Fair. Second is the question and answer format of Current Fairs. But both will be provided in the form of PDF or in the form of ebook. And third is the quiz section and this can be attempted only on our application on daily basis next is the weekly section again we are providing three things one is the detail current fair second is the question and answer format but both things will be provided in the pdf format and third is the quiz section which you can attempt on our application on weekly basis Next is the monthly section and in the monthly section we are providing you four type of PDFs. One is the detailed current fair PDF which is known as study PDF. Next all the detailed current fairs will be converted in the form of question and answer. That's why it is known as question and answer PDF so that you can revise all the current fairs in the question and answer format. Next is the best 100 current fairs will be provided that is also provided in the form of question and answer. And last is the pocket PDF. It means one liner, two liner or the three liners current fair will be provided to you so that you can revise these current fairs very quickly before your exam. Next is topic wise current fair. This is very important section because we are providing 20 most important topic wise PDF. If you want to revise one or two particular topics, then you can use this topic wise PDF. If you are a banking student, then we are providing three things. One is detail. Second is question and answer format of current fairs, but only related to banking and economy. And third is the quiz section. It is also only related to banking and economy. And you can attempt this quiz section only on our application on monthly basis. Next is exam PDF. If you want to cover all the current fairs before your exam of particular year, then you can use this exam PDF. Next is special current fair section. In the special current fair, we are providing you budget and economic survey. Two things we are providing. One is detail budget and economic survey. Second is question and answer format of budget and economic survey. It means you can recall that examiner can make these type of questions from budget and economic survey. If you are preparing for your respective state exam, then we are also providing state current fairs and we are covering every state and union territory. So all these things comes under only one subscription. First of all, you have to just download our application careers cloud, then click on this crack current fair section and you can subscribe for one year as well as for two years. And if you want 10% extra discount, then you can use this code ASH10. If you have any query, then you can email us on this email ID or you can call us on this number. So let's start the weekly current fair and today we will cover the fourth week of October 2022. It means we will cover 25th to 31st of October 2022 current fairs. And here is the first question. In October 2022, who launched the first phase of Rojkar Mela or the job festival to provide jobs to 10 lakh youth in the central government jobs? And this is Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So answer of this question is three. So Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, launched the first phase of Rojkar Mela through the video conferencing in 50 centers across India. It was a recruitment derived for 10 lakh central government jobs where appointment letters were handed over to more than 75,000 newly appointed persons. And the recruitment is done by 38 ministries and departments of the government of India themselves and through recruitment agencies like UPSC, SSC, RRB and other agencies. And even in Punjab, the job fair event was organized at Patiala Locomotive Works in Patiala and also at the rail coach factory, which is situated in Kapoorthala. Moving to next question. Which bank has reappointed Sandeep Bakshi as its managing director and chief executive officer for the time period of three years, like from 2023 to 2026? And this bank is ICIC Bank. So answer of this question is one. So the board of directors of ICIC Bank has reappointed Sandeep Bakshi as the managing director and CEO of the bank for a period of three years. And the time period will start from the month of October 2023 to October 2026. And the appointment is subjected to the approval from the Reserve Bank of India. And his current tenure will end on 
October 2023. That's why the time period will start. The extended time period will start from October 2023 to October 2026. Remember, Sandeep Bakshi is the MD and CEO of the ICIC Bank. Move into next question. In October 2022, ISRO heaviest rocket, which is known as Launch Vehicle Mark III or LVM III, earlier it was known as Geosynchronous Launch Vehicle Mark III, successfully placed one webs how many? Generation 1 broadband communication satellites into the low earth orbit. Static question, remember the question as same as in slide and total communication satellites were 36. And the rocket was launched from the second launch pad of the Stish Dhawan Space Center which is situated in Shriharikota, Andhra Pradesh. And this LVM-3 or Launch Vehicle Mark 3 formerly known as Geosynchronous Launch Vehicle Mark 3 or GSLV MK3 can carry up to 8 tons, 8 tons into the low earth orbit and 36 generation 1 broadband communication satellites belongs to United Kingdom, United Kingdom. Move into next question but you can also remember this mission is known as One Web India One Mission, One Web India One Mission. Move into next question. National Aeronautics and Space Administration and NASA is set to launch Dragonfly rotor craft in the year of 2026 and scheduled to reach the Selk crater region of the Titan in 2034. And Titan is the moon or the natural satellite of which planet? Very simple question. And this is the moon of Saturn. So answer of this question is 1. So the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA is set to launch Dragonfly rotor craft in the year of 2026 which is scheduled to reach the cell crater region of the Saturn moon Titan in 2034 and the launch of Dragonfly marks the NASA's first multi-rotor vehicle for science on another planet and NASA's Dragonfly mission will fly multiple stories to sample and examine sites around the Titan, the icy moon of the Saturn and look for prebiotic chemical process common on both Titan and Earth. And Dragonfly landing site will be Shangri-La Dune. Shangri-La Dune. Shangri-La Dune field which is close to the 580 km crater Selk. Move into next question. Name the personality who won the 2022 Formula 1 Aramco United States Grand Prix which was held in Texas, US in the month of October 2022. And this personality is one and only Max Verstappen. So answer of this question is four. So Belgium player Max Verstappen of Red Bull Racing won the 2022 Formula 1 Aramco United States Grand Prix of 2022 which was held the circuit of the Americas in Austin in Texas United States. With this he equaled Germany's Sebastian Vettel and Michael Schumacher record of 13 wins in a Formula 1 season. And Verstappen defeated United Kingdom Lewis Hamilton who drives for Mercedes and Monaco's Charles Leclerc of Ferrari racing. Moving to next question. When was the United Nations Day observed across the globe? Most important question, simple question, 24th of October 2022. Answer of this question is 4. So 24th of October 2022 marks the 77th anniversary of the foundation of the United Nations. And the United Nations annually observed across the globe on 24th of October to mark the anniversary of coming into force of the Charter of the United Nations. And United Nations Chamber Music Society will present a virtual concert in celebration of the United Nations 77th anniversary. Move into next question. When was the World Polio Day 2022 observed across the globe with the theme of World Polio Day 2022 and beyond a healthier future for mothers and children? So what is the theme? World Polio Day 2022 and beyond a healthier future for mothers and children. And World Polio Day every year observed on 24th of October 2022. Second is the answer. And World Polio Day was established by Rotary International to commemorate the birth anniversary of John Salk. Jonas Salk, remember the name, Jonas Salk, an American virologist who developed the first successful polio vaccine. And John Salk led the first team to develop a vaccination against polio and began its testing in the year of 1953. Moving to next question. 
When was the United Nation World Development Information Day 2022 observed across the globe? And this was also observed on 24th of October 2022. So answer of this question is 3 and it is to create awareness of the world developmental problems and to need to strengthen the international cooperation to solve them. And the first World Developmental Information Day was observed on 24th of October 1973. And World Developmental Information Day is marked on the same day as the United Nation Day, which was formed on 24th of October 1945. And you can remember this day with the United Nation Day. Moving to next question. The first satellite phone was launched by which company? Very steady question, simple question. The first satellite phone was launched by Motorola. Answer of this question is second. And it was launched about 30 years ago, like in 1989. And the satellite phone is a type of mobile phones that connect to the other phone or the telephone network by the radio through orbiting satellite instead of the terrestrial cell sites as cell phones do. And satellite phones are not legal in India, not legal in India and unless you have permission. And uh, restrictions on these possession and use of these phones were tightened after the Pakistani terrorists who attacked Mumbai in November 2008 use these devices to keep in touch with their lashkar e taiba handlers. So remember the first satellite phone was launched in 1989 by a company Matola. Moving to next question. In October 2022, the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare set up two committees to reduce the delay in crop or loss damage estimation. The two committees will be headed by whom? So these two committees will be headed by C.S. Murthy. Who is C.S. Murthy? C.S. Murthy is the current director of Mahan Lobbies, Mahan Lobbies National Crop Forecast Center. And the center government emphasizes using technology for crop insurance schemes from the year of 2023. So the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare set up two committees to reduce the delay in the crop loss and damage estimation and ensure timely settlement of the claims by the farmers. And uh, one committee is known as Committee for the Nationwide Implementation of Technological Based Crop Yield Estimation and second committee is Committee for Standardization and Improvement of Weather Data, Weather Data Infrastructure. And the committees will have representation from Maharashtra, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Rajasthan governments along with the experts from the different departments and agencies of the center government. Moving to next question. Which organization has partnered with the Drone Federation of India to promote indigenous drone technology? And this is Indian Navy. So answer of this question is second. So the technology development and acceleration cell of the Naval Innovation and Indigenization Organization under the Indian Navy have partnered with the Drone Federation of India to promote indigenous development, manufacturing and testing of a drone, counter drone and associated technology for the Indian Navy. So as a part of this partnership, Indian Navy and Drone Federation of India will increase the Navy Industry Academy synergy and source technology development challenges towards component indigenization. So remember, this is Indian Navy and Drone Federation of India who will promote the indigenous drone technology and they will manufacture drone technology related components in India. Moving to next question. In October 2022, the Directorate General of Civil Aviation granted an aerodrome license to the Jaipur Airport in which state? And Jaipur Airport is situated in Odisha. So answer of this question is 4. And the Directorate General of Civil Aviation, which is also known as DGCA, granted aerodrome license to the Jaipur Airport in Odisha. And Jaipur Airport became the first, first state-owned airport to get the license to carry out commercial flight operations under the regional connectivity scheme which is known as Udan or Ude Deshka Amnagrik. And under Udan, 68 underserved or unserved destination which include 58 airports, 8 heliports and 2 water aerodromes have been connected. So we are talking about aerodrome license so it is given to the Jaipur airport which is situated in Odisha. Moving to next question. In October 2022, the World Health Organization released first ever World Health Organization Fungal Priority Pathogen List which is based on research conducted by which institute or university. 
so the report is based on research conducted by university of sydney which is situated in australia and remember this is world health organization who has released one report named as who fungal priority pathogen list and it is a report that highlights the first ever list of fungal priority pathogens a catalog of the 19 fungi that pose the greatest harm to the public health and who fppl or fungal priority pathogen list is divided into three categories one is critical second is high and third one is medium priority move into next question in October 2022, Rishi Sunak became the Dash United Kingdom Prime Minister and the first Indian origin Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. And Rishi Sunak became 57th United Kingdom Prime Minister. So, answer of this question is second. So, Conservative Party leader Rishi Sunak, who is 42 years old, becomes the 57th United Kingdom Prime Minister. He was appointed by King Charles III. King Charles III and he succeeded Liz Truss, who resigned as a Prime Minister after just 45 days in power. He is the youngest leader of the United Kingdom since 1812 after Prime Minister William Pitt, who was 24 years old when he took on the role in 1783. And he was also UK's third Prime Minister in two months. Boris Johnson resigned in the September 2022. Liz Truss resigned in the October 2022. And he is the first Indian origin Prime Minister of the UK. And Rishi Sunak first became the Member of Parliament in 2015. He was elected from the Richmond area, Richmond in the Yorkshire area. And other appointments like Indian origin, Soela Braverman reappointed as the Home Secretary. You can also remember this. Move into next question. Name the personality who has been appointed as the acting chairperson, temporary chairperson of the Competition Commission of India for the time period of three months. And this personality is Sangeeta Verma. So answer of this question is four. So the Ministry of Corporate Affairs appointed Dr. Sangeeta Verma, a member of the Competition Commission of India as an acting chairperson of the Competition Commission of India with effect from 26th of October 2022 and she is appointed for the time period of three months or the uh, further appointment of the regular chairperson. And Sangeeta Verma appointment follows the resignation of full-time chairperson Ashok Kumar Gupta. Ashok Kumar Gupta, an IS officer who was retired on 25th of October 2022 and he was appointed as the Competition Commission of India Chairperson in the year of 2018. Moving to next question. Atul Kumar Goel has been elected as the Chairperson of the Indian Bank Association for the financial year 2022-23. Atul Kumar Goel is the current managing director and CEO of which bank? Again, very important question. He is the current MD and CEO of the Punjab National Bank. So, answer of this question is second. So, managing committee of Indian Banking Association re-elected Atul Kumar Goel as the managing director and CEO of the Punjab National Bank as its new chairman for the financial year of 2022-23. And uh, Atul Kumar Goel was previously elected as IBA Managing Committee to serve as the chairman in the year of 2021. Move into next question. Name the personality from India who has been elected in as the chairperson of the Air Transport Committee of the International Civil Aviation Organization after 28 years, after a gap of 28 years. And this personality is Shefali Juneja. So answer of this question is three. So Dr. Shefali Juneja was elected as the chairperson of the Air Transport Committee, ATC Committee of the International Civil Aviation Organization as a specialized agency of the United Nation. And she became the first Indian to hold this position in the 28 years. Moving to next question. Which of the following points are correct with respect to the World Sustainability Day? So let's read out the statement and find out the correct statement. World Sustainability Day is annually observed across the globe on 4th Wednesday of the October. So every year it is observed on the 4th Wednesday of the October. This statement is true. Why it is observed? It is to raise awareness of the value of environment protection and the actions that may to be taken. Next is World Sustainability Day 2022 was observed on 26th of October 2022 because it was the 4th Wednesday of the October. This statement is also true. On the occasion of the World Sustainability Day, Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi, 
has launched a campaign punch the plastic campaign this statement is wrong because it was not started by iit delhi it was started by iit madras in chennai tamil nadu so only c statement is wrong it means the correct statement is only a and b so answer of this question is second move into next question name the state or union territory that has recently launched one time property tax amnesty scheme which is known as samriddhi 2022-23 samriddhi 2022-23 is started by delhi union territory so answer of this question is 3 so this scheme it is a people friendly initiative of the municipal corporation of delhi and it has been introduced by vinay kumar saxena vinay kumar saxena who is the lieutenant governor of delhi and this is a one time property tax amnesty scheme to offer significant relief to the residents and encourage commercial property owners to end long standing disputes and associated harassment and samriddhi is an acronym for strengthening and augmenting or augmentation of municipal revenue for infrastructure development in delhi area and the scheme will be operational from 26th of october 2022 and will conclude on 31st of march 2023 and uh, there will be no further extension of this scheme and the tax amnesty scheme has two options 1 5 one plus five for the residential properties and one plus six for the non-residential properties so remember samriddhi 2022-23 started by delhi government move into next question which country discovered the world's first inhalable vaccine against covid 19 and this country is china so answer of this question is four so authorities of shanghai china have started administrating the inhalable vaccine against covid-19 apparently a world's first inhalable vaccine and the vaccine is being offered for a free as a booster dose for previously vaccinated people and the vaccine is a mist vaccine is a mist that is sucked in through the mouth after slowly inhaling people hold their breath for 5 seconds with the entire procedure completed in 20 seconds and the inhalable vaccine has been developed by Chinese biopharmaceutical company known as CanSino Can Sino Biologics Limited. Move into next question. Nihonshu from Dash has filed an application seeking a geographical indication tag in October 2022. So this is Nihonshu. Just remember the name Nihonshu and it is also known as Japanese Sake which is an alcoholic beverage. Alcoholic beverage and Nihonshu from Japan answer of this question is one and this is the embassy of Japan in New Delhi has filed an application seeking a geographical indication tag for Nihonshu or Japanese sake which is an alcoholic beverage this is the first time a product from Japan has filed for a tag of the geographical indication registry in Chennai and remember about Nihonshu Nihonshu is a uh, like a special and valuable beverage made from the fermenting rice Moving to next question. Apurva Srivastava was appointed to serve as the India's ambassador to the Solvek Republic. What is the capital of Slovakia? The capital of Slovakia is Bratislava. Answer of this question is second. So Bratislava is the capital of Slovakia and Euro is the currency. And Indian Foreign Service Officer Apurva Srivastava has been appointed to serve as India's ambassador to the Solvek Republic. And Apurva Srivastava is an officer of 2001 batch. He currently serves as the Council Journal at the Consulate of the Indian in Toronto. And prior to this, she served in various positions in the Ministry of External Affairs and has been posted in Kathmandu and Paris and among other locations. Moving to next question. In October 2022, which of the following Lakshadweep beaches received the blue flag tag? Blue flag tag, this question is very, very important. And this is Kadmat Beach and Minikoi Thundi Beach. So answer of this question is both one and two. So the two Indian beaches, one is the Minikoi Thundi Beach and second is Kadmat Beach. Both in Lakshadweep have been accorded with the globally recognized and the coveted international eco label, which is known as blue flag tag. And they comply with all the 33 criteria mandated by the Foundation for Environment Education, which is known as FEE in Denmark. With this certification, India's total number of beaches under the blue flag reached to 12. And the information for the same was provided by the Union Minister Bupender Singh Yadavji, who is the Union Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Moving to next question. 
In October 2022, India's first solar-powered village, Modhera, became the first net zero energy community. Modhera village is situated in which state? Modhera village is situated in the state of Gujarat. Answer of this question is 4. So, India's first solar powered village, this is very important keyword, first solar powered village Modhera in the Mehsana district of Gujarat, in the Mehsana district of Gujarat has become the India's first net zero, net zero energy community by meeting its 100% energy requirement using on-site solar powered. And this was achieved as a result of Project Surya Gram or Project Sun Village. As a part of the project, 1 kilowatt of solar panels were installed on the roof of every household in the Modera in two phases. And the project made Modera India's first 24 into 7 solar powered villages. Moving to next question. With which country Indian Navy has recently conducted the second edition of the Tri-Services HADR or Humanitarian Assistance and Disaster Relief Exercise known as Tiger Triumph 2022 at the Vishakhapatnam Andhra Pradesh. This question is again very important and this country is United States of America. Answer of this question is 4. So this is the second edition of the India-US Tri-Service Humanitarian Assistance and Disaster Relief Exercise known as Tiger Triumph 2022 and it was held at Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh and it was held in between Indian Navy and the US Navy and it was held in the line with the growing strategic cooperation between the two countries. And the first ever Tiger Triumph exercise was held in the year of 2019 in Vishakhapatnam. And it is the first Thai service exercise between the US and India. Remember the name Tiger Triumph 2022. Moving to next question. In October 2022, the Directorate General of Civil Aviation granted the aerodrome license to the Mopa Airport which is situated in which state? It is situated in Goa. So answer of this question is 4. So the Directorate General of Civil Aviation grants the aerodrome license to the Mopa Airport. Mopa Airport in Goa to commence flight operations. And Goa is the first Indian city state to have two airports that will soon see regular commercial flights. Earlier, one aerodrome license was given to the Odisha's airport that was known as Jaipur Airport. Moving to next question. As per the report published by the OAG Aviation Worldwide Limited in October 2022, Delhi Airport from India has been named the world's dash busiest global airport by seats. And this is the 10th busiest global airport by seats while Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport from the United States of America ranked first in the list. So answer of this question is 10th and USA first is the answer. So in October 2022, Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, which is situated in Atlanta, United States of America, remained the world's busiest airport followed by Dubai International Airport. Second rank goes to Dubai International Airport and third rank goes to Tokyo International Airport. And according to the OAG Aviation Worldwide Report, Dubai International is the busiest international airport followed by the London Heathrow Airport. London Heathrow Airport. And in a different report, OAG stated that Mumbai to Delhi. Mumbai to Delhi is among the global 10 busiest domestic airline routes, ranked 9th. And Mumbai to Dubai is among the global top 10 busiest international airline routes. And this was also ranked 9th. So remember, according to the report published by OAG Aviation Worldwide Limited in October 2022, Delhi Airport, which is also known as Indira Gandhi International Airport or IGA Airport in New Delhi, has been named the world 10th busiest global airport by seats. By seats. Moving to next question. Name the bank that was recently launched six digital transformation initiative under its project WAVE. WAVE stands for World of Advanced Virtual Experience and this bank is Indian Bank. So answer of this question is 3. So Indian Bank, one of the public sector bank, launched six digital, digital transformative initiative under its project WAVE. This is the keyword for you, project WAVE. And Indian Bank has tied up with the Universal Sompo General Insurance for providing online two and three wheeler insurance and health insurance through its mobile banking application which is known as Ind Oasis. Ind Oasis. And this will enable banks customer to assess and buy general insurance product digitally anytime, anywhere.
moving to next question in october 2022 the insurance regulatory and development authority of india irdai approved the launch of bima sugam bima sugam an online marketplace for all insurance needs with effect from which date this is with effect from 1st of january 2023 so first is the answer so the key shareholders in the bima sugam are going to be life insurance council 30% stake general insurance council 30% stake online uh, public sector banks like 35% stake and brokers association 5% stake and irdi has offered more flexibility to general insurance companies in designing and pricing of products under miscellaneous segments and allowed them to launch these in the market without prior regulatory approval earlier the products with a sum assured above 5 crore rupees can be launched without prior approval of irdi but regulatory approval before launching products with sum assured up to 5 crore was required now irdi said that it has extended the use and file procedure that is launching insurance product without prior approval to all the categories so it means all the categories are now abolished all launch all insurance products can be launched without prior approval so remember the insurance regulatory and development authority of india approved the launch of bima sugam an online marketplace for all the insurance needs or you can say an online marketplace that will house all the companies selling life and non life insurance on a single platform with effect from the 1st of jan 2023 move into next question name the payment bank that was recently launched a group accident insurance plan with rupees 10 lakh coverage with rupees 10 lakh coverage and this is india post payment bank answer of this question is 3 so the india post payment bank operating under the department of post under the ministry of communication has introduced a group accident insurance plan with an accidental death coverage of 10 lakh rupees and the insurance plan will be made available by the india post in collaboration with the tata aig and the bajaj alliance general insurance companies for a premium of 399 rupees or 396 annually and this insurance plan is available to anyone between the age of 18 to 65 years move into next question as per the recent data of the ministry of commerce and industry russia has become india's dash largest trading partner while dash emerged as the india's biggest trading partner the number one positions goes to united states of america and otherwise the russia's rank is 7 so answer of this question is 4 So according to the most recent data available with the Department of Commerce under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry Russia moved from 25th place in 2021 to become India's seventh largest trading partner seventh largest trading partner and uh, the United States emerged as the India's India's biggest trading partner from April to August from april to august financial year of 23 with a trade volume of almost 57000 million dollar and it is followed by china it means second rank goes to china ua is on the third saudi arabia is on the fourth iraq is on the fifth and indonesia is on the sixth but you can remember the first two usa and china move into next question The Dash Infantry Day was observed on 27th of October 2022 by the Indian Army and this was the 76th Infantry Day. Answer of this question is 1. So the Indian Army annually observe 27th of October as the Infantry Day to commemorate the contributions of the infantry, the largest fighting arm of the Indian Army. and 27th of october 2022 marks the observance of the 76th infantry day and the day marks the anniversary of the first military event of independent india which took place in the kashmir valley against pakistani invaders on 27th of october 1947 and in 2022 in 2022 the indian army and the air force celebrated 27th of october as a shorya divas as a shorya divas since the day also marks the golden jubilee celebration of the kashmir air base of the indian air force move into next question which state has recently launched safal safal which is a simplified application for agriculture loans a common credit portal for the farmers just remember the name of the scheme is safal and this state is the state of odisha answer of this question is 3 
सो नवीन पटनायक जी द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ ओडिशा लॉन्च ए कॉमन क्रेडिट पोर्टल विच इज नोन एज सफल एंड इट इज फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ द फार्मर्स एंड सफल स्टैंड फॉर सिंप्लीफाइड एप्लीकेशन फॉर द एग्रीकल्चरल लोन्स एंड सफल इज इंडिया फर्स्ट ऑनलाइन एग्रीकल्चरल क्रेडिट फेसिलिएशन पोर्टल and it has a facility that will provide access to more than 300 agricultural and allied sector loans from more than 40 banks for farmers and agricultural owners moving to next question india's greco roman wrestler sajan banavla became the first indian to win the bronze medal in the 77 kg division of the under 23 world wrestling championship 2023 in the october 2022 and under 23 2022 world wrestling championship which was the dash edition of the under 23 world wrestling championship which was held in pontevedra in spain so this was the fifth edition of the under 23 world wrestling championship so answer of this question is 4 so remember the name of the player india's greco roman wrestler name as sajan banavla became the first indian to win the bronze medal in the 77 kg division of the under 23 world wrestling championship on 18th of october 2022 and he defeated one of the ukraine's player and to win the historical medal for the country and uh, under 23 2022 world wrestling championship was the fifth edition and it was held from 17 to 23rd of october in pontevedra in spain moving to next question which country will host the 12th world hindi conference this is most important question 12th world hindi conference in february 2023 and this country is fiji so answer of this question is 1 so fiji will host the 12th world hindi conference 2023 from 15 to 17th of february 2023 just remember the question as same as in slide move into next question In October 2022, the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change approved the establishment of Tarai Elephant Reserve. Tarai Elephant Reserve. This will be the 33rd Elephant Reserve of India, and it is situated in which state? It is situated in Uttar Pradesh. So, answer of this question is three. So, the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has approved the establishment of 33rd Elephant Reserve of India, which is situated in Uttar Pradesh. And name of this elephant reserve is Tarai Elephant Reserve. And this Tarai Elephant Reserve would be the second elephant reserve in Uttar Pradesh and 33rd in India. And Tarai Elephant Reserve will cover an area of almost three. Thousand fifty square kilometer, encompassing the Dudwa Tiger Reserve and Pilibit Tiger Reserve in UP. It means it is a transition area of Dudwa Tiger Reserve and Pilibit Tiger Reserve, and it is situated on the Nepal-India border. Moving to next question. As per the third advance estimates of the area and the production of various horticulture crops for 2021-22, released by Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. a record of dash tons are estimated to be produced in an area of 28.08 million hectare and this is total of 342.33 million so the ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare released the third advance estimates of area and production of various horticulture crops of year of 2021-22 and according to the estimate a record of 342.33 million tons are estimated to be produced in an area of 28.08 28.08 million hectare it shows an increase of about 7.73 million tons which is uh, approximately 2.23 or 2.3% over in the year of 2020 21 If it means if we are comparing with the last year, then it is a increase of two point three percent. Move into next question. Name the company that has recently became the first first intercity logistic provider to join the open network for digital commerce network, and this company is Ship Rocket International. So answer of this question is two. So Ship Rocket International went live on the Open Network for Digital Commerce or ONDC network and became the first intercity logistic provider to join the ONDC network and this enables sellers across all segment to ship their products to towns as well as cities of India and the first successful transactions via Ship Rocket was fulfilled on 22nd of October 2022 just remember the question as same as in slide next question is 
the indian navy is conducting dash addition of the singapore india maritime bilateral exercise this is singapore india maritime bilateral exercise in visakhapatnam andhra pradesh from 26th of october to 30th of october 2022 so two or three things are important under this question one is the name of the exercise simbex according to simbex you can guess this is india and singapore maritime bilateral exercise it was started in visakhapatnam andhra pradesh this is important and this was held in two phases one is the harbor phase harbor phase was basically started in visakhapatnam and second is the sea phase sea phase started in the bay of bengal and simbex series of exercise started in the year of 1994 under the name of exercise lion king lion king and for this exercise two ships from the republic of singapore navy arrived at the visakhapatnam and this is the 29th edition so answer of this question is 3 29th edition of the simbex exercise moving to next question which of the following points are correct with respect to the step taken by the reserve bank of india in october 2022 so let's read out the statement first is the rbi has lifted the three year ban on the thutukudi tamil nadu based mercantile bank or tamil nadu mercantile bank on opening new branches with effect from October 21st 2022 following its listing in the Bombay Stock Exchange and the National Stock Exchange in September 2022 this statement is true the rbi has placed thrissur based tanlakshmi bank under its tight monitoring after tanlakshmi bank delayed in the capital raising this statement is also true as per the basel 3 norms tanlakshmi bank are required to have a capital to risk weighted ratio or asset ratio of 9% this statement is also true and rb in its article estimation of the green gdp green gdp for india stated the need for a dedicated wing in the ministry of environment forest and climate change which should focus on the green gdp so all the statements are correct so answer of this question is all abc so first is the answer moving to next question in october 2022 the insurance regulatory and development authority of india formed a dash member committee dash member committee under the chairmanship of thomas m devasia to develop rural insurance cover to develop rural insurance cover and this is 24 member committee so answer of this question is second so in order to achieve the objective of insurance for all insurance for all the insurance regulatory and development authority of india has formed a 24 member committee to develop and suggest an affordable and comprehensive cover for the rural population and thomas m devasia ji an uh, irdi member of non life area will serve as the chairman of this committee for one year for one year and the committee will examine and recommend ways to enhance the working and operations of bima vahak bima vistar bima sugam and digital platforms moving to next question In October 2022 Dash won the National Intellectual Property Award 2021-22 under the most popular geographical indication of India food stuff category in the food stuff category and this is Hyderabadi Haleem so answer of this question is 3 so Hyderabadi Haleem has won the National Intellectual Property Award for the year of 2021-22 under the most popular geographical indication of India under the food stuff category and hyderabadi haleem won this award there are so many categories like in agriculture kandhmal haldi kandhmal haldi belongs to odisha won this award in the handicraft category this is tanjore art plate which is a geographical indication tag of tamil nadu in the manufacturing category this is mysore sandal soap mysore sandal soap and this belongs to karnataka and in the natural category this is uh, chunar balua patthar chunar balua patthar and this is the geographical indication tag of uttar pradesh move into next question what is the theme of the united nations global media and information literacy week 2022 that was observed across the globe on 24 to 31st of october 2022 and the theme was nurturing trust in media and information literacy imperative so answer of this question is 4 So United Nations Global Media and Information Literacy Week is annually observed across the globe on 24th of October to 31st of October 2022 to highlight the importance of media and information week and uh, 24 to 31st of October marks the observance of the 
इलेवेंथ ग्लोबल मीडिया एंड इंफॉर्मेशन लिटरेसी वीक विद द थीम ऑफ नर्चरिंग ट्रस्ट ए मीडिया एंड इंफॉर्मेशन लिटरेसी एम्पेटिव एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो रिमेंबर द ग्लोबल एम आई एल वीक टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू इज होस्टेड बाय नाइजीरिया बाय नाइजीरिया मूवेंट टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच स्टेट और यूनियन टेरिटरी लॉन्च दी मैं भी सुभाष कैंपेन इन अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू मैं भी सुभाष कैंपेन इन अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू वॉज स्टार्टेड इन द एरिया ऑफ लद्दाख सो आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज सेकेंड एग्जैक्टली इट वॉज स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम ले एरिया ऑफ द लद्दाख एंड द मै बी सुभाष कैंपेन इज ए सीरीज ऑफ इवेंट्स विच इज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस ट्रस्ट and this netaji subhash chandra trust or ina trust in collaboration with the ministry of culture the mai bhi subhash campaign is going to be organized on the occasion of 125th birth anniversary of netaji which will be celebrated on 23rd of january 2023 moving to next question which of the following points is or are incorrect with respect to the defense expo 2022 which is india's largest ever defense exhibition held in october 2022 very important question let's read the statement first is prime minister narendra modi inaugurated the 12th edition 12th edition this number is important of the defense expo 2022 which is india's biggest ever defense exhibition and it was launched in gandhinagar gujarat so hosting area is gandhinagar gujarat with the theme of path to pride the theme is path to pride first statement is most important and first statement is true second is the 12th defense expo bandhan ceremony featured the signing of 451 mous transfer of technology agreements and product launches so this statement is also true next is the maharashtra government has signed 20 mous with various enterprises comprising investment of almost 356 crore in the state at the defense expo 2022 this statement is wrong because this is not the state of maharashtra this is the state of uttar pradesh who signed who signed almost 13 mous 13 mous with various enterprises promising investment of almost almost 564 crore not the 356 crore in the state at the defense expo 2022 next is prime minister narendra modi unveiled htt40 an indigenously trainer aircraft designed and developed by hindustan aeronautics limited at the india pavilion of defense expo 2022 this statement is also true even the prime minister narendra modi also announced the fourth indigenization list fourth positive indigenization list of 101 items compiled by ministry of defense during the opening ceremony of defense expo 2022 in gandhinagar gujarat and you can also remember the second second indo africa or second india africa defense dialogue was conducted in gandhinagar gujarat this is again important so only incorrect statement is third so answer of this question is 3 moving to next question with which country the indian air force has recently conducted the 7th garuda 7 2022 it is a bilateral exercise which was conducted at jodhpur rajasthan so 7th is the addition this is important conducted by indian air force at jodhpur the place is important and it is a bilateral exercise of india and france so answer of this question is 4 so it is 18 day long bilateral exercise named as garuda 7 and it is the 7th edition and it was held in between indian air force and the french air and space force and it was conducted at air force station in jodhpur rajasthan and it is the fourth time that this exercise is hosted by india hosted by india first was in 2003 then in 2006 then in 2014 at air force stations of gwalior in west bengal and jodhpur respectively so just remember this is the seventh edition and garuda exercise is in between india and france and it is air force exercise next question is in which state the 2022 bestu varsh festival was celebrated in the month of october 2022 so bestu varsh festival was celebrated by the state of gujarat answer of this question is 4 so it is gujarati new year festival which is also known as vikram sammar 2079 and also known as bestu varsh and it was celebrated with traditional and cultural values of the gujarati communities across the globe and bestu varsh is celebrated as a new year in gujarat which is a part of the 5 day diwali celebration 
फाइव डे दिवाली सेलिब्रेशन मूव इन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स आर करेक्ट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द ग्लोबल ट्यूबर क्लासेस रिपोर्ट टू रिलीज इन द मंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर टू सो लेट्स रीड आउट द स्टेटमेंट The report issued by the World Health Organization for the first time in a year shows a rise in the number of people infected with the tuberculosis infected with the tuberculosis because an estimated 10.6 million people worldwide were sickened by tuberculosis in 2021 a 4.5% rise from the year of 2020 and 1.6 million people died and this data is very very horrifying so first and second statement is true third statement is india notified 21.4 lakh tuberculosis cases in 2021 which is approximately 18% higher than the year of 2020 and india at the 36th position 36th position in terms of incidence rates so this statement is also true so all the statements are correct about this report so answer of this question is 1 move into next question which the following point is incorrect with respect to the steps taken by the securities and exchange board of india so let's read out the statement and find out the incorrect sebi extended the deadline for implementation of the 25 crore threshold rule for direct exchange traded fund transactions with asset management companies to 1st of may 2023 and initially the rule was came into force on 1st of july 2022 and the same was extended till the 1st of november 2022 now it is extended to 1st of may 2023 so this statement is true next is the face value of the debt security and the non convertible redeemable preference shares issued on the private placement basis were reduced to 5 lakh from 15 lakh with effect from the 1st of february 2023 this is not 5 lakh this is 1 lakh earlier it was 10 lakh and this is with effect from 1st of january 2023 so this statement is wrong and third is sebi is all set to develop a system to mitigate risk of the cyber attacks in collaboration with the bombay stock exchange and the national stock exchange and the system will be operational from march 2023 and india will be the first in the world to set up this technology and this statement is true so only incorrect statement is b so answer of this question is 3 next is Which company has recently partnered with the Manipal Signa Health Insurance to launch India's first flexi top-up insurance? Flexi top-up insurance started by Healthy Sure. Answer of this question is three. So Healthy Sure, an employee benefit insurance technology, has partnered with Manipal Signa Health Insurance to launch India's first flexi top-up insurance, which allows employees to personalize and upgrade their corporate health insurance plans. and flexi top up is powered by healthy shores technology platform through which a policy is issued digitally within 30 seconds of making a purchase move into next question in october 2022 bombay stock exchange technology private limited launched no your client registration agency or kyc kra and kyc kra is a dash regulatory intermediary for the maintaining kyc records for the investors in an electronic form and this is regulated by securities and exchange board of india so answer of this question is 4 so bombay stock exchange technology private limited which is a subsidiary of bombay stock exchange limited launched the no your client registration agency no your client registration agency which is a securities and exchange board of india's regulated intermediary for maintaining kyc records of investors in an electronic form and this kra grants the market participants authorization for investors kyc which is mandatory for the investment in the securities market just remember the question as same as in slide next is which organization has recently signed an memorandum of understanding with meslova system for cooperation in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning for air defense system and this question is very important and this company is bharat electronics limited answer of this question is second bharat electronics limited in navratna defense public sector enterprise under the ministry of defense has signed a memorandum of understanding with meslova system for cooperation in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning for the air defense system for the armed forces this will enhance the security of the armed system 
and this memorandum of understanding enables both organizations to develop and deploy products and services with the artificial intelligence and machine learning embedded and integrated parts for the ad system of the armed forces or you can say this is for the air defense system of the armed forces moving to next question for which machine isro propulsion research complex has conducted the pressure chamber test of the cryogenic engine at Mahindragiri, Tamil Nadu in October 2022. Very important question. And this machine belongs to Gaganyaan. Answer of this question is 1. So, ISRO Propulsion Research Complex has successfully conducted the pressure chamber test of the cryogenic engine at Mahindragiri, Tamil Nadu. And the pressure chamber test was conducted for about 30 seconds to check the efficacy of the engine for the use in Gaganyaan, which is designed for India's human spaceflight program. And uh, you can also remember this was tested at Mahindragiri, Tamil Nadu in October 2022. Moving to next question. In International Shooting Sport Federation or ISSF World Championship Rifle Pistol 2022, which was held in October 2022, India secured the second rank in the overall medal tally with a total of dash medals. India won total 34 medals, while dash country tops the medal tally with 58 medals and this country is China. So answer of this question is 4, 34 medals and China. And out of 34 medals, out of 34, India won total 12 gold medals, 9 silver medals and 13 bronze medals. And first rank goes to China, second rank goes to India and third rank goes to Norway. Norway total medals are 12 and out of 12, 7 are gold. And this ISSF World Championship Rifle Pistol 2022 was held in Cairo in Egypt from 12th of October to 28th of October 2022 and you can also remember one name this is Rudranksh Patil. Rudranksh Patil of 18 years old has won the first quota after winning the gold medal in the men's 10 meter air rifle. He becomes the second Indian shooter to win the 10 meter air rifle gold at the world championship after Abhinav Bindra. So just remember, India was at the second place in the overall medal tally with 34 medals out of 34, total 12 are golds and the first rank goes to China and this tournament was hosted by Egypt and exact place is Cairo. Moving to next question. As of the Board of Control for Cricket in India pays equity policy for its contracted women cricketers announced in October 2022, the women cricketers will be paid dash for a test match and this is 15 lakh for one test match answer of this question is one so bcca announced implementing a pay equity policy for its contracted women cricketers in the 15th bcca apex council meeting and the women cricketers will be paid the same match fee as their male counterparts for a test match 15 lakh rupees for odi 6 lakh rupees and for t20 3 lakh rupees and the existing match fee for the women cricketer is for a test match was 2.5 lakh rupees for ODA it was 1 lakh rupees for T20 it was 1 lakh rupees but now it will be equal to the men cricketers moving to next question when was world stroke day 2022 observed across the globe it was observed on 29th of october 2022 so answer of this question is second and it will raise public awareness of the serious nature and high rates of the strokes and the preventative steps that can be taken and world stroke day 2022 builds on the momentum of the last year's minutes can save lives campaign and World Stock Day was established by the World Stock Organization at the World Stock Congress, which was held in the Vancouver in Canada on 29th of October 2004. And the first Stock Day, World First Stock Day was observed in the year of 2006. Moving to next question. Which state finance department has recently signed a memorandum of understanding with the Credit Guarantee Fund Trust for the micro small enterprises for the MSME borrowers? And this is the state of Meghalaya. Answer of this question is 4. So the finance department of the government of Meghalaya signed a memorandum of understanding with the Credit Guarantee Trust Fund for the micro and small enterprises under the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises to enable the flow of credit to the MSME borrowers. And the MOU was signed with an aim to implement the Meghalaya Credit Guarantee Scheme. 
and the MOU will strengthen the credit delivery system and facilitate the flow of credit to the MSME sector, especially in the Meghalaya area. Moving to next question. The first inter-services paragliding ex-country championship began at the mountains belt of the beer billing in which state or unit territory? And this is the state of Himachal Pradesh. Static question, just remember the question as same as in slide. This is the first ever inter-services paragliding championship began with a colorful opening ceremony at the mountainous belt of the beer billing in Himachal Pradesh. And the championship is a first of its kind and is being conducted from 29th of October to 1st of November under the Army Adventure Wing or AAW. Move into next question. Who has recently conferred with the Gau Bharat Bharati Award? Gau Bharat Bharati Award and this personality is Bhumika Gala. Answer of this question is 4. So, Dr. Bhumika Gala was recently conferred with the Gau Bharat Bharati Award by the hands of the Governor of Maharashtra and Governor of Maharashtra is Bhagat Singh Koshyari ji. Moving to next question. A train of the Rehaitian Railway is set to create the world record for longest passenger train in Burgain in Switzerland. So, answer of this question is 1. So, Switzerland train of the Rehaitian Railway is set to a world record for longest passenger train in Berguin in Switzerland. And the operator can run on 1.9 kilometer long train composed of 100 coaches. The train completed its 25 kilometer journey through the Alps in the less than one hour, passing through a UNESCO World Heritage Route which has 22 helical tunnels and 48 bridges. Again, this is static question. Just remember the question as same as in slide. So, this is all for today. I think you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe our channel. And you can join our all platforms like uh, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Telegram channel. And Telegram channel link is given in the description box. But please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you guys for watching this video. Always take care of your health. Thank you. Take care and bye-bye.